Hello folks, so um, welcome back on my channel where in the last video I was literally talking about this new announcement that Panasonic was uh, programming and Lumix was programming for what I've heard and now we're going to have an update regards of that. Apparently we are going to receive a firmware update across um, the lineup of the S and I guess the GH lineup too where they are going to basically receive an update regards the the Lumix Lab app or anyway regardless to the app system so it might be that finally we are receiving the firmware update where the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X will finally get the firmware update we all, we all been waiting for to allow the cameras to work with the new Lumix Lab app and get all of that cool um, stuff that the S9 got and the G8 7 has and even the S9 Mark II is supposed to get this firmware update so that's a really cool thing and probably some enchantment for the AF2 so maybe they will bring actually the AF into the 1080 slow motion side too so this is kind of the firmware update we were waiting for since the announcement of the S9. So that's pretty cool. This is just a rumor though. So I'm not, I have no clue what kind of announcement are they going to bring, but this is what Andrea Pizzini from L, L Rumors said. And, and then the second thing we are going to receive apparently is going to be the 80, 18 to 40 um, kit lens, the one uh, designated for the S9 that was supposed to come out with the S9 because I think that lens was supposed to be the the kid lens for the S9 but apparently it wasn't ready so I don't even know why they went forward with the announcement probably because it was already programmed but then here we are so this lens is finally coming out and there might be some minor um, things too like another lens coming probably a long lens or stuff like that and that's about it and that's the reason why i think there is no press release lens so there is not going to be a launch event lens um event they're probably going to be as many other companies does where they just ship in the houses of the creators the the lenses and stuff about the firmware update, I'm a little bit concerned because usually what Lumix has done until now is that they will announce the firmware update and then you will see basically all the creators testing it and then explaining you how it works and how good it works. And I think that was really cool because that kind of thing avoided the many issues that many other companies like Canon and Sony have had lately where they had to pull back the firmware updates because is not working in other cameras right so i think that it's pretty smart thing that lumix does but until now i haven't seen that so i don't know if tomorrow is going to be the date where the creators are going to get the firmware updates and then we are going to receive it later on like the people who are not creators or lumix creators are going to receive it later so let's wait and see um what's going to happen then Basically, we are going to receive a camera, which is this Phantomatic S5D, where it's going to be basically the S5 with minor upgrades. Like I think the LCD is going to be upgraded and that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, I guess they had a bunch of S5s and the sensor uh, laying around. They're like, let's just find a new way to recycle them and sell them. But it's quite a good idea. But if they sell them for 1500 I think it doesn't make sense. Just like lower the price to like something, the sub thousand, like because Lumix currently don't have any full frame mirrorless camera under the sub thousand. And it doesn't make sense that a camera that doesn't even have if the, the hybrid phase, the out of focus system will basically cost like an S5 Mark II um, at this currently you can find it around for that price so it doesn't make sense but if they lower the price to sub thousand this might actually be 
a great idea, a great option for like a studio camera like here, like this. And I might actually think to pull the trigger, but that's pretty much it for what we supposed to receive tomorrow. But according to Andrea Pizzini, we might be receiving, um, or at least they have confirmed that in 2025, Lumix is going to be releasing a bunch of things. So the cameras we are expecting, so the S5, eh, the S1H Mark II and the SR2 um, or S1R2 are going to be released in 2025. And most probably in Q1 of 2025, so let's wait to see in Q4 2024 because we're going to really receive many, many, many news if it is true that it's coming in Q1 of 2025. So for the moment, this is it. Um, I just wanted to pop here, quickly film and put it out there for who hasn't seen Andrea Pizzini's video. Well, here is this one. And shout out to Andrea Pizzini for the amazing work he's doing on keeping us updated on this kind of things. But it's, yeah, um, it's quite interesting. Basically, uh, yeah, this is what you're going to receive. And I don't know if you guys have any other news or thoughts, let's share them in a comment and I'll find you there. You see my disappointment face? Yeah. But I hope the firmware update, it's actually what I've been waiting for. Basically, the S9 uh, firmware, so not the hardware, but, but the software, into finally the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X. But yeah, here we are. Take good care of yourself. I'm going to see you down below in the comments. And uh, take good care of yourself again. See you in the next one.